for your Baltimore Dancers. So it's the home team now. Trailing by four. Lakers ball. Pass to Ben Carroll. And here's Mitchell. Let's it go from deep. And the three-pointer goes. Mitchell's got six points. Coach doing a great job of putting Mitchell in pick-and-roll situations. For a young player, he makes good decisions. Shot clock at six. Here's Doncic. That one off the back iron and out. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. And that one's good. Giddy. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Duarte. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Here's Ben Carroll. He's watched by Kuminga. From the low block. Doncic grabs the miss. For Baltimore, they've gone only one of six so far. Pass to Duarte. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And for players, greatness can be defined so many ways. But giving back has to be a component of that. Wouldn't you say, Grant? Well, to whom much is given, much is expected. In B.A., I agree 100%. Players today understand the impact that they can have on others. Sure I love that about the league, the players, the coaches, everyone involved, using this gift to make a change and a positive impact throughout the world. The first one falls. Harden, he's checked in for marketing. also good so he hits both free throws we've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line back to Mitchell unloads Dorte grabs the board and he's frustrated that's a shot he can make in his sleep off target at the rim this is the shot you want right at the rim he just could deliver on an Akumpo. That's good. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. Pass to Duarte. Siakam outside. No good from outside. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Out of Kumpo, the pass to Jackson. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league, and that shows up most with his passing and body control. I don't know how many misses that is in a row, but I know it's ugly. Mitchell's gone two of five tonight, and here's Kaminga for three. The rebound by Jackson. The Lakers shooting just 38% so far in this one. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shooting defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Turned in an outstanding game against Milwaukee. Doncic against Maxi. That one doesn't drop. Good D by Doncic. Pass to Siakam. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Whether it's on the ball or off, Jaron Jackson has shown great awareness and timing as a shot block. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Lakers? They are making a statement so far on the defensive end, sending shots away in incredible fashion. Loving the hustle.
And not only that, you like how they're turning defense into offense, forcing turnovers and capitalizing. Murray's checked in for Doncic. And that one falls for Anadokounmpo. You gotta love Giannis's commitment to delivering a superstar performance for his team. The effort he puts out on the floor really can't be overstated. Now here's Murray. 23 points his last outing. Back to Harden. The rebound by Maxi. They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. Excellent D there from Siakam. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Murray passes to Kaminga. From deep three-point range. No good that time. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. James Harden. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Lakers. Tyrese Maxey. Two shots. Two. The first free throw is good. Free throws good from Maxi. Here's Murray. Pass to Siakam. Over on an Akumpo. On an Akumpo with the block. The shot, no good. So as we end the first quarter, already a double-digit ball game. Up by 12. Quarter number two coming up right after this break. Don't go anywhere. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. And so in the game for the Lakers, Jared Allen out there with Ben Carroll. Then it's Josh Giddy. Then there's Markel Fultz. And it's Miller in at the small forward position. Shot clock at five. The offensive rebound. Allen. Excellent D there from Embiid. Fultz against Doncic. Out to the right wing. Here's Murray. Miller pulls it in. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Pass to Ben Carroll. Over Murray. And that one's long. And he lobs it up to the rim. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. Nearly unstoppable. No matter where the pass is delivered, Zion will go up and get it. Fultz passes to Allen. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Out to the right wing. Murray from outside. He's now one for two with that bucket. And hey, I mean, Murray will take the corner three when it's given to him. You've got to chase him off this line. Here's Fultz. The shot, no good. Oh, great D that time from Doncic. Here's Murray. There's the drive. And it's Murray finishing it off. Strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Outside Giddy. The three. The rebound by Markkinen. For Baltimore, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Doncic on the wing. Shoots over Fultz. 
It's rebounded by Bancaro. The Lakers have gone 0 for 6 in the second. Not looking good. Offensively, Bancaro is a difference Jared maker. Allen. Not just with the talent, but with his relentless approach. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Now here's Doncic. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Murray, no good. Out left to the wing. Ooh, the death touch on the lob. And the Lakers lead by nine. Smooth finish off a terrific feed. Man, the timing and execution couldn't have been any better right there. Just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Grant, you watch Van Carroll. He's got a rare mix of moves for a big man. Yeah, B.A., the perfect combination of size, strength, and skill. Crosses up defenders well, spin moves, excellent body control, and he uses his body to shield the ball when he's driving through the lane. Now here's Murray. He's got five. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Here's Van Carroll. That one falls. Nice assist by Fultz. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel B. drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Well, he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. And they say to win big, sometimes you have to sacrifice. Tell us exactly what that means, though, in basketball terms, Benny. What it means, B.A., as a player, you might have to accept a more defined role. Most players grew up as the best player on their team. When you're on a contending team, sometimes you have to just star in your role. He's checked in for Baltimore. James Harden comes in for Jamal Murray. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Over to the wing. Clock at six. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Now into the lineup for the Lakers. Giannis Adetokounmpo. Tyrese Mexi. Here's Williamson, lays it up and banks it in. Williamson's got four points this quarter. Because of Zion's strength and explosiveness, he's nearly unguardable around the rim. Outside Maxi. And it's blocked by Embiid. And he recovers it from deep Mitchell. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got five rebounds in the game. Harden against Mitchell. Harden, good. Harden just loves scoring through contact. He seeks it out while trying to get fouls on his shooting attempts. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Puts up a three. Doncic grabs the miss. The Bullets have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Williamson misses. Great anticipation defensively. I love how he turned an easy look into a difficult play. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Pass to Williamson. Doncic on the wing. Launches a three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Anacupo has got six rebounds here tonight. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. Embiid. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Here's Anacupo. Excellent D there from Embiid. Pass to Kaminga. 
Doncic with it. Back to Williamson. On the wing, Harden. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. Harden's got his second bucket on the night. Staying unselfish, keeping your eyes up. So important for a young player. Zion, mature beyond his years. Now here's Jackson. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And it's Mitchell, the miss. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Well, the Lakers shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's on Joel Embiid. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. At the line for the Lakers, Paolo Bencaro. At the line for two. First one at the line is good. Pascal Siakam, he's checked in for Baltimore. Dorte comes in for Doncic. So he gets them both. He's one of the league's best free throw shooting bigs. A performance like this certainly proves it. Here's Williamson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. A true physical specimen. It's tough to keep up with Zion's athletic ability. Williamson at the line for two. Shooting two. And that one misses. And we all know about Zion Williamson's athleticism. Now he must continue adding to his game. And no luck that time either. The Lakers shooting only 31% in the second quarter of this one. Mitchell misses. Started out strong for three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. A foul can't hold Pascal Siakam's shot back. He commits to the play and gets it in the air. Pascal Siakam, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes a first. The length and athleticism of Pascal Siakam is special. This is why he's such a big part of this team. Siakam hits them both. Five ticks left in the first half of this game. The three is up. Ooh! Released it in time, but it's off the mark. And the first half now in the books. Up nine. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. I know you cannot be happy with this team's play in the first half. What will you tell them they need to improve on? The score and our effort, our offense. They're just playing harder. They're more physical. They're tougher. Honestly, we're very lucky right now. Lots to improve on in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hi, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. The difference in the game to me is they're playing with tremendous effort on the defensive end. Everyone seems engaged. You can hear them communicating with one another. Coach has gotten these guys to buy in. Great job. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? 
Well, the effort hasn't been there in terms of rebounding the ball. They're getting outworked in that part of the game. But you've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. And for the Lakers, they're shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. Laurie Markin and out there with Zion Williamson. Then it's Pascal Siakam. Then it's Chris Duarte. And it's Doncic in at the one. That's Doc Rivers five as we get into the second half. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Here's Duarte. Here's Markkinen, and it's Kitty with a rebound to the middle. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. And adds a few more points to their lead, showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Now here's Markkinen. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Tough to contain Siakam around the rim. He has underrated strength. Shooting for Baltimore. Taking two shots. Two shots. That's good from Siakam. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Williamson. Makes both free throws. The visitors with the ball. And following this one, they'll take on the Timberwolves in Minnesota. And that game will mark the end of a four-game trip. Here's Giddy. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Williamson's checked in for Joel Embiid. Josh Giddy. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops a first. So, one for two that time at the strike. Pass to Duarte. Plenty of space. And he gets the bucket. This is what they like about marketing. He will make the next pass when the defense overplays him. Giddy passes to Allen. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Williamson, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Now here's Doncic. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Market and misses. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Inside. And you can count it. He'll go the line with a chance at a three-point play. Defensive. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. At the line for New York Bullets. Chris Duarte. One shot.
the Lakers have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Outside Mitchell. Back to Giddy. Launches it. Dorte grabs the board. For Baltimore, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. The Bullets shooting only 27% for today's game. Here's Doncic. Gets a very good look and converts. Doncic has got his first points of the night. And I love Doncic's shot selection. So smart at knowing when to shoot it. Here's Giddy. Second chance shot. Kicks it out to Anna Kumpo. Here's Ben Carroll. He has six. Giddy. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. With elite passing skills and core vision, Doncic is an advanced distributor for his age. Now here's Mitchell. Give him eight points now. Six on the shot clock. From 12 feet. Here's Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Tremendous effort from Allen, one of the top offensive rebounders in the game. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. Put your hands together for your Baltimore dancers. Teams changing it up here. Kuminga against Jackson. And here's Harden. Pass to Siakam. Four on the clock. Great D that time from Allen. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. The drive by Jackson. He's already a skilled defender. But recently, Jaron Jackson Jr. has stepped up his game. He calls nightmares for shooters now. At the line for the Lakers, Jaron Jackson at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. falls for Jackson and for the teams that were looking to draft Jaron Jackson Jr. what they saw was a true modern day center who could defend one through five Zion Williamson is checked in for Baltimore marketing comes in for Kaminga and so Jackson nails both of them the bullets have gone four of nine in the third quarter Puts it up. Harden, the pass to Williamson. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's 5 for 9 in the game. So, Smitty, what do you attribute Jackson Jr.'s defensive growth to? You know, B.A., I think a lot of it is, is his focus. He's keeping his eye on the shooters, but it's also just confidence. He's more sure of himself than ever. Allen, the pass to Maxi. Murray against Fultz. Just 5 to shoot. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
It'll be on Second Zion season. Williamson. Third team foul. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game the has been going Lakers. for the Lakers. Marquette it's easy Post. for me. Look at their defensive effort all game. The block total Shoot shows two. their commitment to contesting shots. Yeah, another thing they did well, running the floor. They've kept the pace high and pulled away with their transition offense. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Here's Harden. They're doing what they can do to mount a comeback. NBA, they don't have to get it all back at once. Just focus on making every possession count. A clear look for Murray. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got eight rebounds in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Or a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Just five on the clock. Three-pointer, Harden. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got four rebounds now. Pass to Fultz. Jackson outside. Outside Johnson. Here's Maxi. Here's Allen. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. James Harden picks one up. I like that Allen plays with attitude. He's got a competitive streak, and it blends so well with his natural athletic ability. He misses the free throw. Luka Doncic has checked in for Murray. And the second free throw is good. Here's Doncic trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. Here's Williamson. He's got it. Six of ten now. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Lotta Kupo against Markinen. Williams grabs the board. For Baltimore, they've gone six of 13 to open up this second half. Oh, there's the alley. Throw it down on the lob. They just can't get stops against this guy. Zion too strong and too athletic. Here's Anadokounmpo. Cans it from short range. Anadokounmpo's got seven points in the game. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Doncic. And he hits it from nine feet. Doncic has got four points this quarter. Fearless play by Doncic in the paint. Ready to do whatever it takes to find his shot. And we've watched three so far in this one. With the score. Leading by nine. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. This is what you need your floor general to do. Take charge, lead by example, unselfish play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. And so in the game for the Lakers... Donovan Mitchell out there with Josh Giddy. Then there's Ben Carroll. Then it's Jared Allen. And it's Ana de Cupo in at the four. Williamson misses. The Lakers shooting at 32% from the floor. Not good. And Ana
out at Akumpo with the basket on the assist from Giddy. And the Lakers lead by 11. Using his size to his advantage, Giannis is a handful to deal with close to the rim. Pass to Duarte. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Or cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. The three from Mitchell drops in the three. Their long range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Pass to Duarte. And he's going for the oop here. And Williamson throws it down. Understands how to use pick and rolls. Zion doing a great job in these sets. Harden against Mitchell. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Ooh, give him his fifth yes. make of the game in 10 attempts. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Time that was another now. look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Looking now for some consistency. Just too many missed shots. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Checked in for Harden. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. It wasn't feel-good pep talk. He wants them to show some fight in the closing moments. He told them, if you guys want to salvage any respect from this game, now's the time to do it. Show them we are better than this. Guys, take it away. Great work, Allie. Thanks. The Lakers have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Here's Ben Carroll. It's guarded by Markkinen. Pass to Giddy. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. Lakers Gordon. He's checked in for Vanderbilt. The lineup for Baltimore. Aaron Gordon. And we have to take another look at that block. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Out of the Kumpo, outside. The three from Mitchell. That shot off. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Pass to Williamson. Six to shoot. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. It's often a tough call that can go either way. But I agree with you on that one. Siakam, he's checked in for Gordon. Well, the Lakers shooting 36% for the game. Not great. Here's on Kumpo. Siakam pulls down the board. Coaches loathe empty possessions. you got to be able to hit the easy ones. Williamson outside. <laughs> the 
the rebound by Allen. Allen's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Ooh, the turnaround jumper. Count it. And the Lakers lead by 16. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. To the paint. Here's Williamson. Tries to snap the cold streak. I love their work on the glass. They hold a nice rebounding advantage. He was all alone on that one. Giddy's got five points in the quarter. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Donovan. That one on Mitchell. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your bullets. Chris Duarte. At the line for one. seen some good free throw shooting in the second half the Lakers have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter timeout, timeout. timeout call for the Lakers Let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Josh Giddy. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. You know, some guys aren't the same player on the road. Not this guy. He loves sticking it to an opposing crowd, and it only adds fuel to his fire. The home team on D. It's a 16-point game. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep, Mitchell. And it's Allen who slams it home. Great game for him. Double-double now. And just an incredible effort on the offensive glass. Wow, follows it up with the put back to finish the play. And that one's good. Marketing. This is where marketing is lethal. Good balance off the catch, smooth mechanics, soft touch. Pass to Mitchell. From outside the arc. The rebound by Markkinen. Markkinen's got a rebound number five here tonight. Here's Williamson. Great D that time from Ana Kumpo. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. And Carroll no good. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. And here's Doncic outside. And it's Kitty with a rebound. kitty has got five rebounds in the game. To the wing, right side. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. It's down. His seventh make in 13 attempts today. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Marketin finds Williamson. Rejected by Ana de Kumpo. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ana de Kumpo. Both teams deciding to change it up. And 
they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds. Now here's Williams. Outside Fultz. Shot clock at six. Outside Giddy. 18 feet out. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Dinwiddie against Fultz. Outside for Davis. Off target from outside. And so the road team gets the W in this that's one. To game. walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, now we have some time to check in with Ali LaForce. Ali. Giannis, an impressive performance. Talk about what this game showed you about your team. Well, this game was great. I think everybody came out ready. Everybody played great. We were moving the ball. We knocked down shots. But most importantly, we were playing great defense. But at the end of the day, it's just a win. We've got to build off this. We've got to go back to the gym, watch film, and get better. It's just one piece of a greater goal. That's right. Thanks, Giannis. All right, Allie. Good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you next time.
right, here we are together in the wreck, and I'm going to put my... This W. Uh, LD looking spiffy right now. Watch me work. You wearing slip-ons? Yeah. Hey. You know, we call those the, the jailhouse works right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Man. You should be off, so. Good start, good start. You need it? Oh, Ratchet. Let's go. Big, yeah. big oh, yeah. buckets. Baby Shaq. Let's go. Good take, good take. That's <laughs> off. Wow. What? It's Let's meet the starting lineup for Austin. At small forward, Corey Kispert. At center, Robert Williams. At the other forward position, John Collins. At shooting guard, Jalen Brown. At the other guard position, Damian Lillard. The head coach of the visiting team is Mike Brown. special Veterans Day edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. DA, it's all yours. Well, thanks very much, guys. Of course, the NBA has had some legendary trash talkers. But Damian Lillard says it's not really a verbal assault like it used to be. In this era, it's more gestures. From the watch your head to the too small or rock the baby to Trey Young's theatrical bows, players have their ways of sending a message. Kevin? And the message usually received, D.A., <laughs> thank you. So the Austin starting five. They've got Collins, Damian Lillard out there with Jalen Brown. Then it's Williams. And it's Kispert in at the small forward. And for Seattle, they've got Beasley. Williams is out there with Anthony. Then it's Malik Monk. And it's Holmgren in at the center position. And Greg, we're still very early in the season. What are these teams right now doing to maintain success through the year? Well, this is the time for coaches to experiment with lineup combinations. And for the players, it's important they learn each other's tendencies and, and try and work on building chemistry. Now here's Lillard. Fires from deep. Bangs home the trifecta. And this is where Lillard is most dangerous. And he's going to look to shoot a lot of threes. Williams can't get it to go. Austin with the ball. It's a three-point game. And it's just never easy to get stops Jeez, in this wow. league. But they had a smart game plan defensively. And I felt like that was the difference. Well, good defensive game plan and then carrying it out for 48 minutes. That really helped them out in that last game. No good from Beasley. 
for Austin. They've gone two or three here to start out the game. Lillard looking around. And Holmgren pulls it down. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Beasley against Brown. Just four to shoot. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Austin. This game against Seattle is the first time they've met this year. Yeah, and they lost the season series to this squad last time. Maybe a little extra motivation tonight to show they've improved. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And you gotta love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Pass to Brown. Here's the three. Hits it from three-point range. Brown. Brown's got Defense. five. And that's just tremendous confidence from Brown. Going up with the shot right away and giving the D no time to react. Now here's Anthony. Really played well against Portland in his last outing. The shot by Monk is no good. And so far, the team just one of five, and that rim shrinking. And the zero Damian Lillard wears on his jersey is more than just a number to him. Yeah, Greg, we know that represents the letter O as Dane grew up in Oakland, went to college in Ogden, and became an NBA star in Oregon. Oh, my. That's a lot of O's. Now, Kispert. After the miss, three from Chet Holmgren. Now, here's Lillard. Monk defending. Shoots from the line. Here's Williams. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. One on Holmgren. And on top of the talent, the, the physical ability, Williams, just a coachable kid and really picks things up. Quick. free throw no good and Seattle making a change here Williams has checked in and he ends up missing both free throws and so it's Williams who brings it up for Seattle they trail by six. Pass to Anthony. Collins against Williams. On for three. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. For Austin, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Back to Lillard. And once again off the mark by Austin. Uh, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Anthony kicks to Monk. Seattle needs to get off a shot. Williams, good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And you got to appreciate just the presence of mind there. Monk demonstrating solid court awareness by finding the open man. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. Shooting for Austin. Robert Williams. Two shots. Two shots. Last on the first. And he can't get the first one. A platoon swap here for Seattle. on the second free throw. Seattle trails by five. Outside Warren. Tipped away. Williams with the steal. Flynn against Hawkins. 
Now, here's Gafford. High, arcing shot, and the layup is good. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. Hawkins against Flynn, and the pass to Warren over Murphy. And the shot by Warren, no good. So the Supersonics, their last game, a win against Portland. Well, they came into that game looking to be physical, looking to control the boards, and they succeeded. Well, the last time it was about feeding off of the glass and getting rebounds to ignite the offense, and that came up big for them. Great opportunities to get out and run. Here is Hawkins, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Kept alive. Here's Williams. Goes up again. Gafford misses. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. And the shot by Warren, no good. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. And Murphy kicks to Hawkins. Austin moving it around. Williams trying to break free. No good there. Good work defensively by Smith. Seattle trails by seven. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Swiped away. Last break. Here comes Austin. Puts it up from seven. And the rejection by Smith. Hampton with the ball. Murphy's there. Hampton misses. Austin leading by seven. Knocked away. Gafford trying to break free. And oh, here we go. Warren's got it. The fast break chance. Hampton in the corner. To the middle. To stop the drought. The putback. Three-pointer. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Austin. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at Austin's performance here, guys. What have they been doing, or what haven't they been doing? I mean, the rebounding was the difference in that first period. You've got to block these guys out. Yeah, rebounding can also be just about will, and they showed some of that in going in there and collecting some boards. Here's Monk. He's still scoreless so far in this one. They've got Monk. Anthony is out there with Williams. Then it's Malik Beasley, and it's Holmgren in its center. That's the lineup in the game for Seattle. Now, here's Monk. Five on the clock. And the dunk by Holmgren. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spot. Yeah, when Collins gets up there like that, look out. Seattle trails by seven. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. Anthony's shot is off. And, and they continue to control the glass. Gisbert kicks to Brown. Shot clock at six. And the foul Super on Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo That's his first foul. First personal and foul. maybe the first only weakness foul. for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Awesome defense. Just outstanding effort to reach his big hands in there and just rip the ball away. Austin and foul, foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. A unique First type of player. Foul. Chet with great length and skill. But the keys to reaching his potential will be durability and improving his strength. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. Thank <laughs> you. 
and he knocks down the first one. Hey, Greg, Holmgren is thin, but as we both know, he's very tough. He's aggressive and willing to take contact at both ends. He's also strong mentally. Can't wait to see what the future holds for this young man. He doesn't get the second one. And you hear the legends Brent talk shop. So often, it's about what separates winning players from the guys that don't win as much. What comes to mind for you? I think what comes to mind, Kevin, is expectation. And sometimes we get a little bit ahead of ourselves with guys who we want to anoint as the next great player. Look, sometimes it takes three or four chances at the highest level uh, to finally reach that point where you have the confidence and the experience and the know-how to be one of the best players in the league and who compliments you along the way. So to me, it, it comes with a great deal of patience to let that player achieve that level of success. Yeah. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, some people call John Collins John the Baptist Super for two. how he dunks over defenders. He says, the game is slowing down for me. I'm able to see my spots. I want to continue to build on that and be looked at as a pillar, a guy that can be counted upon. Kevin, it seems he's hungry for more. Back to you. He's a big-time dunker, that's for sure, looking to reach his full potential. David, thanks. Williams, he's checked in for Anthony. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And in a league full of shooters, Malik Monk is right there with the best of them. And has always been a weapon from outside, has refined his shot selection in the last few years, and starting to come into his own as a reliable outside threat. Now, Holmgren, after the missed three from Corey Kispert. To the paint, here's Williams, got a piece of it, and he's able to get it back. Holmgren, wide open. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. McDaniels passes to Kispert. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds. Austin able to retain possession here. And Austin calls their first timeout of the game. Austin timeout call. at four. Collins trying to break free. And once again off the mark by Austin. Beasley the pass to Soto. Williams up on top. No points in the game yet for him. And the rejection by Collins. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Collins. Austin making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. And here are the Supersonics now. Only given up two points this quarter. Williams can't hit. For Austin, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. Going just one for five. And he comes up with the deuce. Collins has got four points now in the quarter. Don't want to give up that kind of position to Collins at that kind of length. I think he's going to do some damage. And the rejection by Gafford. 
Down to five on the shot clock. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Supersonics will retain possession. The Twins check in for Monk. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Goes to Austin. Back to Lillard beyond the arc. That one drops, and he's now two for five. And that is just too easy for Lillard. A legitimate threat to burn you from the corner. Pass to Beasley. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got four rebounds now tonight. And they're, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That is exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Five to shoot. Here's Williams. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second and they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Austin. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering Shoot the long-range shot here early on. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. That free throw missing. The leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support expansion. And two cities, which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Yeah, well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities, and I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But it's bottom line, more teams means more jobs, and that's the sentiment I think most can get behind. That's a, a strange trip because typically he's pretty much money from there. To the left wing. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Will it go? And he makes the bucket, gets it's, the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the missing foul. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And just 72% from the line a season ago. Not the greatest of numbers, but there are guys who are far worse off when it comes to free throw shooting. Warren's checked in for the Sox. Austin leading by six. Passes it to Hawkins. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. From outside the arc, they get the rebound. Here's Gafford. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Chris Bayhart just killing him on the interior. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And it's Seattle with the ball. Nine-point game. Flynn against Hawkins. Now here's Flynn. He's tightly guarded. Can't connect from short range. As to Murphy. From past the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Murphy's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Supersonics. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track.
Alex making a switch here. Sims is checked in. Here's Warren. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And there's the second time to finish it off. That's a smart pass as T.J. Warren does a solid job finding the open man. Austin moving it around. Here's Hawkins. The second chance effort. No good on that one. Seattle goes the other way with it. And there's the drive from 11 feet away. Here's Gafford. And Gafford throws it down. Scraping and clawing, doing everything he can to grow that lead. Paddock mm, on the putback stuff. Uh, team's having a tough time containing him, attacking all the way there. And Austin there's the whistle foul. on the shot. Took the foul, Same shot base. misses. First, He'll first be shooting two. Warren is so hungry to score every night that he's going to draw the attention of most defenses. Such a tough cover. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And last season, he was successful 81% of the time when he went to the line. So he didn't waste a lot of opportunities. That free throw, no good. Uh, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And Seattle making a change here. Anthony's checked in. No luck that time either. He's a multi-talented player is T.J. Warren and capable of playing now both forward positions with the way the game has changed. A valuable player for what they want to do offensively. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. A three from Warren, and he's good on the three ball. Warren's got his first three points of the game. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Reigns. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. With four seconds on the clock, and that one is off. And that does it for the first half of play. It's Austin up by 12. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, John. You are having your way inside the paint. What's allowing you to be so effective? Uh, my teammates are finding me. I think I'm doing a good job of trying to, you know, play with energy, run the floor, roll hard. Uh, and being an athlete above the rim, I think, like I said, my teammates are finding me. I'm doing a good job of finishing. You are certainly being available to your team. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? Checking out Austin. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. That's been the difference in the game. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Shaq, was anyone boxing out? I mean, if they didn't box you out like this, you'd have 50 just on offensive rebounds. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies or fundamentals. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Chad Holmgren has been sensational. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. On the court for Austin... We've got Williams out out there with Damian Lillard. Then there's Kispert, and it's Gafford in at the four spot. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Brown. Here's Williams, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Malik Beasley. Well, he 
is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, you almost have to foul it. He's off on the first. Collins checked in for Austin. good on the second free throw and here's Williams now he'll bring it up for Seattle down by 12 shooting foul as the whistle blows he'll shoot two free throws three trips to the line so far for him in this one at the line the Super Sonics Chet Holmgren two shots First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? And he's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. High post shot. Austin with a fresh shot clock. Robert and Williams. Williams is right there. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Now here's Beasley. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Six to shoot. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. There's Brown with the three. Seattle grabs the miss. Holmgren's got five rebounds tonight. In the third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Out to Anthony. Let's it go. And it comes off the front of the rim. Not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts. And they're still looking for their first bucket. And finish off by Collins. Yeah, that's where John Collins sets up shop down in the paint. Quick and athletic, able to corral the miss. Anthony, the pass to Holmgren. Back to Anthony. Here's Monk. Fires the three. Seattle missing again. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And guys, how about the different ways John Collins can score on them? John Collins can bully you on the inside or he can spot up and shoot a little bit from the three-point line. So that ability to stretch the floor makes him one of the harder forwards to have to contend with. Seattle calls timeout. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. the Sonics. Williams comes in for Holmgren. And it's Jalen Smith in for Anthony. McDaniels checked in for Austin. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Lillard. Lobbed up there for Collins. And finished off by Collins. Well-rounded effort and, and they show no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now here's Williams. 
Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Four on the clock. And the shot is long. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Here's Monk. Austin making their last shot. And the drought. Here's Smith. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Damian Lillard. Second for Seattle. They have not shot all that well from the free throw line. Six of 11. Jalen Smith at the line for two. The free throw drops for Smith. Hampton, he's checked in for the Sonics. Austin making a switch here. Smith hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Austin leading by 18. Back to Brown for the three. It's hauled in by the Sonics. Williams, that's for two. And that one hits back iron. Yeah, this has been a night where you can look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Now here's Williams. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And it's Beasley in the corner. And it's Austin with the rebound. Collins has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. And it's Brown missing. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. It's Beasley on the wing. Here's Smith. And he makes that one. Well, the find from the off guard Beasley there would like to see more of that. Malik working the ball around. And there's the pass to Lillard. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Over Hampton. Here's McDaniels. And the three off target. The deep doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of them. Second personal foul. Third team foul. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Austin. No adjustments made by the other team, and they couldn't defend against the speed of this group. They've been running over them in this one. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, your confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. And that one misses, so both teams making some changes here. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Austin with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Nice D from Warren. Seattle trails by 18. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. He pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Baseline J on the way, and the jumper is on the mark. He's got seven. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Now, here's Warren. Over Murphy. And the shot by Warren, no good. Nice 
nice D from Warren. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. Now here's Flynn. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And the shot by Warren, no good. Murphy with the ball. Offline from the top of the key. And so it's Austin. Holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. Their transition game has been in full effect. Back to the action in just a minute. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Holmgren is out there with Yurtsevin. And there's Monk. Then it's Malik Beasley. And it's Anthony in at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Seattle. Holmgren the pass to Monk. Here's Holmgren. Misses the jumper. I saw a green light there. He's not going to get away with that kind of lapse all that often here tonight. Lillard finds William. Kicks it out to Lillard. And the layup's good off the glass. Lillard's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Austin. Monk, the pass to Anthony. And here is Monk. Back to Anthony. Over Kispert. Anthony can't hit. Austin leading by 20. Pass to Brown. Buries it Jaylen down low. Brown. Nine points for Jalen Brown. And you've got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And Beasley gets it to go on the assist by Anthony. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now, here's Brown. Kispert, wide open. He fires. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those that play here, he's getting every offensive rebound. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Now here's Beasley following the miss by Robert Williams. Holmgren. And it's John Collins with the rebound. Collins is down low. Here's Kispert. That's tipped. And it's out of bounds. Austin able to retain possession here. Austin ball. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Williams is checked in for Yurtsevin. Jalen Williams. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Collins, good. John and defensively, Collins. guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. The Supersonics have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Passes to Williams. Just five on the clock. Monk for three. They grab their own miss. Bounce pass from Williams. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Collins. Storm.
stolen by Kispert. Bobbed up there for Collins. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And uh, Seattle shooting only 21% from the field so far. Williams against Collins. Six on the shot clock. Monk dishes to Carmelo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, great job by Anthony keeping his balance, not allowing the contact to stop him from scoring. Lillard, the pass to Williams. Greg, we're seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it's a concern. A concern, and, and I'm not kidding. The, the league's going to have standards of decorum. You're, you're on TV. You got to keep it together. However, I think that as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. And Seattle making a change here. Sims has checked in. So Austin going with almost an entire new group here. Landale's checked in. McDaniels comes in for Collins. Brown is checked in for Brown. And Chris Dunn subbed in for Damian Lillard. First free throw is good. Now Beasley has been explosive in some of the roles he's played. And with more responsibility, he's able to score a lot of points in bunches. Williams, he's checked in for the Sox. And Beasley drops both of them. Austin leading by 22. Pass to Kispert. Back to Lillard. Now, here's Collins. He's guarded by Williams. Lock at six. Looking to get it going. Rebound by Williams. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Punk finds Anthony. Good on the 13-footer. Carmelo oh, Anthony operating in the mid-range is just danger zone. You got to put your defense at DEFCON 1. Lillard, the pass to Kispert. Takes the three. Now the pass to Lillard. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Jacks up a three. Here's Collins. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Time Collins has got 10 points here in the second half. Seattle calls timeout. They're down by 22. 153 left in the fourth. present the New Balance player of the game, Damian Lillard. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best. I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Like we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. It's always looking for that edge. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because 
philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve players got to learn how to evolve with them so not getting the calls you might expect also how you communicate with officials I, I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and the players And Williams drops them both. 143 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Kispert. Round with it. Covered by Beasley. Shot clock at five. Kispert, the pass to Lillard. Over Beasley. Offensive rebound. Passes it to Kispert. Brown with the bounce pass. Collins finds Brown. Tries again, and he lays it up and in. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Austin. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for John Collins. Just knows how to fill it up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. Nobody that they assigned to him could really get a handle on him. Here's Brown following the basket by Jamie Malik Monk. Brown. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, Damian confidence, Lillard. fully in control for this win. Yeah, the good news, though, is they've already got the win wrapped up. You might as well sit back and enjoy this shot. Free throw drops for Monk. And Monk is an interesting player. A combo guard with fantastic scoring potential. Quick on both ends of the floor. He's perfect from the line this time. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so it's Austin winning this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure did. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Kevin, thanks. Damian, this team is on a roll and finding ways to win. What would you say about how you're playing? I mean, it just shows growth. Um, our team is getting better every day. In practice, we play close attention in film. And um, I think we've just been locked in over this whole win streak, and we've been able to transfer into the games. I know you want to keep it going, man, so congrats on the W. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. So for David Aldrich, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you later.
final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. On the court right now for the Grizzlies. We've got Sadiq Bey, Devin Booker out there with Kevin Porter. Then it's DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Herter in at the three. Off the mark there with a three. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. To take the lead, and it's Randall getting it to go. Randall's got nine points here in the second half. Shooting a great clip in the second half. He made some nice adjustments in the locker room. Cousins, the pass to Booker. Clock at six, and here's Porter outside. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got four rebounds now. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Shot is good by Reese. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. The Grizzlies have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Now Porter. Cousins for three. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram's got rebound number seven tonight. He hasn't found the range lately. It's wild to think he had three triples there in the first half. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Pass to Cousins. Now Herder. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Kyle Kuzma, he's checked in for Brandon Ingram. One shot. One shot. They're doing some good work at the line this half. For Oakland, they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Here's Henderson. The Grizzlies pull it in. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Outside Porter. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. But things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Here's Henderson. Pass to Reeves. Five to shoot. Gets the three ball to go. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. Outside Booker. And here's Bay. Outside Herter. Booker for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. For Oakland, they've gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. And it's time for an injury report. All right, let's get an update on Jason Tatum from Allie LaForce. What'd you find out, Allie? Thanks. I caught up with the head athletic trainer for Oakland. For as serious as that hit to the forearm appeared, it looks like he only suffered a bruise. Sadiq. Obviously, this isn't at all how they pictured the start of the season. We'll have to see how this affects them moving forward. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And you never want to speculate. So it's nice for us and especially his teammates to get some facts. Murray's checked in for Memphis. Outside Porter. Pass to Bay. Some room here for Cousins. He nails it. And we're tied. Cousins has got 23 points. With good timing and a sound jump shot, Cousins is able to convert catch-and-shoot opportunities. Nurkic with the ball. Six on the shot clock. Over Murray. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Great contest by the defense, and he's unable to hit that tough fadeaway. Order the pass to Herter. Bay outside to take the lead. Shot is off. Four for seven in the game now. Pass to Tatum. Shoots over Cousins. Tatum gets the bucket. Tatum's got 32 points. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. Outside Herter. They kick it out to Murray. Randall pulls down the board. 
Randall's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Shots good by Henderson. Yeah, an underrated passer. Randall has a nice feel for the game and is willing to keep his teammates involved. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now here's Murray. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Tatum. Murray can score in a multitude of ways, Grant. Oh, yes, he can, B.A. I mean, he can feast from the post, the mid-range, and the three-point line as well. He always plays under control at his own pace, and that's why he looks so fluid out there on the floor. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops from Murray. And you can tell how much these fans here in Memphis love their Grizzlies. Yeah, I mean, B.A., ever since they moved here in 2001, these fans have been so loyal. And the players are also enjoy playing here. Memphis is a fun-loving city with great barbecue and a lot of character. He's perfect from the line this time. Now, he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. For Oakland, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Here's Henderson. Randall outside. Great D that time from Murray. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Tatum gets the bucket. I love seeing Tatum exhibit the passion that he has shown us tonight. Such a motivated performance by him. Timeout, timeout. timeout called oh, Memphis. And this late game timeout, getting a breather here. Important for the players to recharge. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with some Gatorade. Now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Head coach of the Grizzlies had some words for his team over the break. He told them, quote, if we'd worked harder on the glass, we'd probably be up right now. Show some heart. Show some pride. It was a very direct message. Talk to you guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Tatum against Herger. Step back shot. Count it. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. Pass to Nurkic. Outside Tatum. Here's Henderson. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Cousin. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Aldama comes in for Cousins. And it's Devin Booker in for Herter. And 
knocks down the first one. They're doing great work at the free throw line this half. That bodes well for their chances to close out this game. And good on the second, so he makes them both. When they get chances at the line, they make you pay. I mean, their free throws have helped maintain this lead. Pay outside. Pass to Aldama. Let's go with a three. No luck on that one. You love their effort. They've owned the glass tonight. Down low. Nurkic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Personal foul. And look at Nurkic using his physique on offense. Taking his shot and drawing a good foul. Nurkic at the line for two. of Nurkic out there tonight. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Murray's checked in. Nurkic hits them both. And so it's Memphis with it. Eight-point game. That's game three of five on their current trip away from home. Outside Porter. Pass to Murray. Shoots over Randall. Murray, no good. Just an ugly show from him offensively. You have no way to describe it. Just ugly. And that has it. And it's Randall with the jam. An excellent job of reading the defense. As Ingram's court vision continues to improve, so will his playmaking. Now here's Booker. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Here's Henderson. The rebound by Devin Booker. Booker's got rebound number seven tonight. Well, that was clearly a foul. Personal foul. Fourth team foul. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. First free throw is good. Okiki's checked in for Murray. And Murray drops them both. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. Henderson misses. Memphis trailing here. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Here's Porter. It's hauled in by Henderson. And Oakland shooting around 53% of the fourth. From 10 feet away. It's rebounded by Memphis. Porter's got his fifth rebound in this one. Murray finds Porter. To the inside. It's stolen by Ingram. A minute 31 left in the game. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. With the depth they have at that spot, they're more equipped than most teams to handle that kind of loss. So 
the first one drops. And that'll put him up by nine. Both good from the line that time. Well, the Grizzlies shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Here's Booker. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. On the wing, Tatum. Booker defending. Shot clock at six. Tatum passes to Nurkic. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Booker, good. All Booker needs is a little bit of room, and the moment he gets it, he pulls up. Outside Ingram. Pass to Henderson. On the wing, Tatum. Booker defending. Now Nurkic. Here's Henderson. And it's good. Two points. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. What a tricky play by Booker using the pump fake to draw the defender and win the foul. At the line for the Grizzlies, Devin Booker taking two shots. Shooting two. Can't get the first one. One of the best scorers in the game. Booker is a volume shooter who also plays with a ton of confidence. And he's good on the second. We've got 22 seconds left in the final quarter. Here's Henderson. Down low. Outside Richardson. From the high post. And so they get the victory here at home. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor. And they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Thanks, Jason. This team is on a roll. Plenty of energy on the sidelines. How much fun are you having out there? Uh, winning is fun. Um, you know, hopefully we can keep it up, especially at home. Uh, you know, we don't want to let our fans down. We got the best fans in the league. And they give us all the energy in the world. So, uh, you know, we appreciate that. Doing it for the fans. Thanks, Jason. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.